Hi and welcome to Vienna, the beautiful capital of Austria, which is home to nearly 2 million people. Vienna ranks often as the best city in terms of quality of life, and its public transport is often mentioned as one of the reasons for this. So in today's video, we will take a look at one element of this renowned public transport system. Let's explore Vienna's tram system. The first instance of a horse-drawn tram was seen in Vienna as early as 1840, but the start of a real system was on the 4th of October 1865. It became a popular way of travel, and more and more sections were built by different companies. Where other cities generally went straight from horse-drawn to electric trams, Vienna also saw some steam trams, for which a first section was opened in 1883. The first electric tram started operations on the 28th of January 1897. Around the same time that electric tram was introduced, plans were made to bring trams in control of the municipality, and quite a lot of general improvements were introduced. One of which was the numbering of the routes, for which I recommend Tapa Kappa's video, linked over here. Besides that, there was a phasing out of horse-drawn and steam trams, which resulted in more silent, less polluting and less odorous operation. This subsequently improved the popularity of the trams. Also, plans for standard gauge routes were introduced. The network gradually expanded and reached its peak at 318 km in 1930. Up until 1938, trams were driving on the left side of the road. However, during the Anschluss, the infamous unification with Germany, the decision was made to switch over to the right side of the road. The Viennese tram system was heavily damaged in the final stage of the Second World War. Operations were ceased entirely in early April 1945. After the Second World War came to an end, operations gradually restarted, with the help of second-hand American trams from New York City, that were provided to Vienna through the Marshall Plan. However, the flourishing period for the tram system during the interbellum was not to be seen again. Only later on, new projects were started. The rise of the automobile and the policy that trams and U-Bahns cannot run alongside each other were devastating for the trams. A lot of lines were closed and new ones were barely built anymore. The late 1980s and 1990s broke this trend, with the new development on the left bank of the Danube, in the districts of Floridsdorf and Donaustadt, as well as the formation of a regional transport corporation, which allowed for smoother coordination of transport towards satellite areas and towns. The late 1990s and the new millennium saw the Viennese tram system taking back its status as an important mode of transport again. With the introduction of modern trams, like the ULF and more recently the Flexity, as well as the fading hype of car ownership in cities, the BIM seems to have a bright future ahead of it. Let's now take a look at the network. This is the tram system of Vienna. It uses a 1435mm standard gauge and is electrified by means of 600 volt DC overhead wires. The total network is 171 kilometers in length, making it the sixth largest tram network in the world. There are 10 depots across the city. The most well known feature of the network is the ring around the center, that is either used for through traffic or as a point where lines terminate. An example is the hub Schottentor, where balloon loops are built on two levels to accommodate seven terminating lines. So now let's take a look at the lines. Line 1, Stefan Fadinger Platz to Prater Hauptallee. Line 2, Dornbach to Friedrich Engels Platz. Line 5, Westbahnhof to Praterstern. Line 6, Burggasse Stadthalle to Geierekstraße. Line 9, Gersthof Walrisstraße to Westbahnhof. Line 10, Dornbach to Untersankt Weid Hummelgasse. Line 11, Otto Probstplatz to Kaiser Ebersdorf Zinnergasse. Line 18, Burgasse Stadthalle to Schlachthausgasse. Line 25, Floridsdorf to Aspen Oberdorfer Straße. Line 26, Strebersdorf Edmund Havnerikplatz to Hausfeldstraße. Line 30, Floridsdorf to Stammersdorf. Line 31, Schottenring to Stammersdorf. Line 33. Josefstädter Straße to Friedrich Engelsplatz. Line 37. Schottentor to Hohe Warte. Line 38. Schottentor to Grinzing. 
Line 40, Schottentor to Herbergstraße. Line 41, Schottentor to Putzleinsdorf. Line 42, Schottentor to Antonigasse. Line 43, Schottentor to Neuwaldeck. Line 44, Schottentor to Maroltingegasse. Line 46, Ring Volkstheater to Joachim Stahler Platz. Line 49, Ring Volkstheater to Hütterdorf Brujatigasse. Line 52, Westbahnhof to Baumgarten. Line 60, Westbahnhof to Rodan. Line 62, Oper Karlsplatz to Lines Wolkesbergenstraße. Line 71, Börse to Kaiser Ebersdorf Zinnergasse. Line D, Nussdorf Beethovengang to Absberggasse. Line O, Bruno Marekale to Rackstraße Rudolfs Hügelgasse. And finally, there's line U2Z, which is a replacement service for the U2. This will run up until the end of 2024 between Schottenring and Oper Kalschplatz. Let's now take a look at the fleet. The current fleet consists of three main types. As per usual, we start with the oldest type, the E2, together with their trader car C5. After their predecessors, the E1, retired in July 2022, the E2 is the oldest type in the fleet. E2 was built under license from Duvach by Simmering, Graz, Bauker and Bombardier. The second main tram type active in Vienna is the ULF, which stands for Ultra Low Floor, pointing to its fully sidewalk height floor level, which is still a rather unique feature. The ULF is built by a consortium of Siemens and Alien. It has two subtypes, the A and B, which are determined by their length, with the 24 meter version being designated as A and the determined as B. The first generation, without air conditioning, are simply A and B, and were introduced between 1995 and 2005. The second generation, designated as A1 and B1, with air conditioning and other improvements, joined the fleet between 2007 and 2017. In total, 332 trams of the ULF type were delivered to Vienna, including its prototypes, making it the most common type in the Viennese tram fleet. The final type that can be found on the Viennese tram network is the Alstom Flexity, the newest type in the fleet which is aimed to gradually replace the high floor trams in Vienna. They are part of a 119 tram order that was won by Bombardier. Bombardier was later acquired by Alstom. The Flexity Wien is mostly derived from the Flexity Berlin. Deliveries to Vienna started from the end of 2017. So, how well are these trams used? Vienna's tram system mostly functions as a local connector and a last mile option throughout the city, whereas the U-Bahn, Vienna's metro system, as well as the S-Bahn take up the longer distance travel throughout the city. The ridership in the city is high, but surprisingly not as high as the tram system in Prague, which as a city is quite a bit smaller than Vienna. Nevertheless, trams in Vienna transported over 200 million passengers throughout 2021, a year that was still affected by the pandemic and its restrictions. This comes down to a daily ridership of around 550,000 passengers. The ridership figures of 2022 were not yet published. So for a quote-unquote normal year, I looked up the figures for 2019. That year saw an annual ridership of 304.8 million passengers, which was a result of 835,000 passengers hopping on board of a tram in Vienna each day. So now let's take a look what the future brings for the tram network in Vienna. There are indeed some plans for future development of the tram network in Vienna, one of which is the new Line 12, which will run between Josefstädtestrasse and Hillerstrasse. It uses mostly existing track, but also new sections of 2.2 km long. En route it links up with two railway stations and meets four different U-Bahn lines. Line 12 will therefore provide a valuable last mile connection in the north of the city. Line 12 is expected to start running from the end of 2025. Another new line will be Line 27. This line will run mostly in parallel to Line 26, starting from Strebesdorf. However, Line 27 will connect in the east of Vienna to the railway and U-Bahn station Aspen Nord, for which the line will make use of a new section that measures around 2.4 km. Similar to Line 12, Line 27 will start operations from the end of 2025. 
The last major project is an upgrade to Line 25. There are plans to extend the line from Floridsdorf to Josef Baumangasse. To its east, it will likely be extended through the new district Zeestad towards Aspen North, where it will meet with Line 27 and the U-Bahn and railway station. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video about the tram network in Vienna. If you would like to see more of my work in the future, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you very much for watching.